Nice one, guys. So basically, we're going to jump straight into this one. And we're going to make some vegetable soup today. Today's Meat Free Monday. And you know, when you're Meat Free Monday, that's where Chef Ricardo and I want to do. All right. So without any further, let's jump straight into it. Some winter food, winter cooking. I you know. Yeah, we have to do it that way. Yeah. yeah 100%. So we're gonna be doing a nice for cooking that evening. Fantastic, something different. I want to share it with you guys. Beautiful food, what's going on with you now? Yeah, we're gonna um, do a nice for cooking that evening. Well, let me see what's going on in life. Vanessa, thank you so much. Craig, what's going on, man? Are you ready to cook? Make sure you're ready to cook, you know, because we're going we're gonna to cook some food, you know. We're just gonna, I'm going to use what I have in my kitchen to show you how you can be creative at home. Let's see, um, Chrissy Williams, nice to see you coming on the show. Larita Young, thank you so much. Nice kitchen, secret is in the building. Vanessa, thank you so much. Robin Pierre. Popella live with the style. Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right, guys. Let's go. What is that drop? Oh. Okay. Let's jump straight into the business right now. I will, um, cook up a little bit of stam. All right. Yeah. Kind of whether we need some soup. All right. Because you see them kind of way there, guys. We need soup, all right? Uh, you can't cook rice and peas and chicken at them at a time. Huh? You, you have to um, do something like this. All right, so right here, we're going to make some vegetable soup. we got pumpkin, cocoa, scotch bonnet pepper, thyme, rosemary, spring one, and sweet potato. You know what I mean? Potato, all sorts of stuff are going on. White onion, garlic. We're going to get all of this into the pot. Okay? And we're going to make some soup. Red flag if you make rice right now. Another time. You need soup, guys. Okay? So what we're going to do... Alright, let's... Let's start the business. All right, the way I'm going to be doing the soup is going to be a little bit of tweaking. It's going to be a little bit a different kind of way from how you make it at home. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pot. Pinch of olive oil. Okay. All right. So right there, we got a pinch of olive oil. We're going to put some garlic into the pot. All right, garlic. We're gonna put some pimento seed. Different kind of cooking, guys, from all you cook at home, all right? Um, right here, we got a few cloves. We're gonna put some cloves into the pot. Right. All 
Right here, we got some fennel seed. We're gonna put some fennel seed in it. Just a few grain. Right here, we got some cumin seed. We're gonna put a few grain. Here it is, just a few grain. All right, because it's winter, so basically, yeah, you can cut up the garlic, you can crush the garlic, you can do anything you want to do with the garlic. It's option. All right, we're going to put some onion in the pot right now. So we're going to put some white onion. First time. Rosemary. Yeah, give it a stir. Give it a stir. Bay leaf. Vegetable season. a little bit of water from the kettle. Now 
Now, the reason why I cook the soup this kind of way, because a lot of people doesn't know, they just chuck a big portion of water into the pot and start to cook. Then you're searching for flavor. You know what I mean? So, you see, the more you cook, is the more you learn. And, you know what I mean? I'm always learning. And I like to learn new stuff and new ideas. And I come across someone who's making chicken soup. And I was watching on the person making it. And it's a totally different kind of way. All right? So basically, a lot of people there, when they're making soup, they will just chuck the water into the pot and then they search for the flavor. So you want to try and build up a flavor in the pot and get that whole, whole heap of spice and, you know what I mean, everything. So what we're going to do now, what we're going to do, we're going to add some more. <coughs> Sorry guys, that's the pepper, man. We're going to add some more water to the pot. So I'm going to show you exactly how you to do this one now. Look at this now. All right, this is just normal water from my from my pot right here. All right, yeah, from my kettle. Okay, so yeah, so right here, a lot of people when they're cooking, they're searching for the flavor, and then every time you see them, I try putting a bit and putting a bit. Even myself did it back in the days, so I learn a lot as I goes on. So I'll take off some vegetables. So I'll take off some bits and pieces of the pot. Build up that flavor. Because you have to have a foundation. If you're building a house, you have to have a foundation. So you have to start from somewhere before you can reach to the next level. All right? And you have to make the foundation a little bit stronger. So that's what's going on right here. I'm building up a flavor in the pot. That means it's going to be tasting really good as we go there. So we're gonna make this boil up first. And if you notice, I put out some rosemary in mine. Some people don't use these kind of things in their soup. Some people don't use cloves and all that thing in the soup, but cloves and all of these is very healthy for kind of kind of what I wish we are in right now. Like the pimento seed, the cloves and the bay leaf and all these kind of seeds, it's really healthy. To use these things like the kind of weather which which we are in right now it's is very cold so you need these kind of things to spice it up you cannot put a little piece of a fresh ginger in it with the salt taken off get the flavor from the ginger yeah um sharon bente thank you so much so that's the chick guys right there you have to build up a flavor and taste as it goes on So right here, let's taste this and see where we are. That is lovely, guys. Now I'm gonna simply say something to you. I'm gonna simply say something to you. The soup, you can taste the fennel and the cumin seed in it, guys. Very strong. All right. Very, very, very strong. Yeah, but I just let me see what's going on on the life. All right, but honestly, guys, that's the best way you could ever make some soup. If you're at home, and yeah, you feel like you want to make some soup. This will be just so beautiful for you to make in other weather like this. Oh, uh, you did the ju oh wow, wicked man! You did the ju ginger tea, nice one. Manifest. Roll, gotta help that out. Thank you so much, man. Early, thank you so much.
Respect the truth. Robin Peer. Thank you so much. I went the last time I went to Jamaica. Um, a few months ago. That's the last time I went to Jamaica. Yeah. Respect the truth. When is the last time you make some vegetable soup? Alright guys, as I can see. This is it right here. So it's coming on. Alright. Beautiful and nice. We got the garlic in it. So the garlic will definitely mash out into it. 100%. Yeah, so that look nice. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you. This kind of soup, guys, is definitely for the kind of weather we are in right now. And all of those stuff we see I use. Oh my. Thank you so much. X, 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 X. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Cook a lot, sleep a lot, drink a lot, eat a lot. Yeah, I do much. I so many things I do in a lot. <laughs> My God. <laughs> anyway, that one is a good one though. Yeah, so guys, as I can see, right now the time is very cool and these are the kind of food that you need right now. All right, yeah man, this is the kind of food. Calm as similar. Yes. Dusha Thomas. Can't just tell you, you. Drink some ginger tea. Start off yourself with some ginger tea. Perfect and healthy, chef. Thank you so much. All right. See that? See that, guys. This is the soup right here. All right, so we got the pumpkin, and we got a lot of veg. We got a lot of um, spices and thing inside of it. Now, you see all the spice. I mean, it. The reason why I did it this kind of way. All right, guys, trust me. I'm always looking. If you notice, all Asian cook, they cook with a lot of natural spice. They, they would have put cinnamon stick into the soup right now. All right, but I look how they cook. And I learn a lot from them. You know, you have to learn. Every day you learn something new. You know what I mean? You can't just cook the same way all the time. If you're going to cook the same way all the time, some, you're, you're gonna, your food going to get bored. You need to change your techniques. You know what I mean? It's just like a car. You don't see um, food bringing out the same car every year. You see them coming with something different. And different. And it goes on. They make something different. So you can't be bored at home, man. If you get bored at home, something wrong. Yeah, so that looking good though. So right there, as you can see, it is boiling up. And this kind of soup is for the kind of weather. Trust me guys, I'm telling you. All right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of these inside of it. All right, very simple though, not too complicated. It's gonna, I'm already made the dough, so all I gotta have to do is put some of these inside of it like this. All right, excellent. Now, outside is freezing cold and everywhere is icy, except the main road. Because you know the main road, the vehicle I'm driving. But everywhere else is just really icy, guys. All right? Yeah.
All right, now I'll, I'll give you another secret. When I'm making soup, this is another way you can get get the dough like this. Roll it up into your hand like this, like a ball, and just press it out like this. All right, put it in the pot and cook it. So those are some tricks for you guys. The the season which I use is just a vegetable season. You can use your favorite season at home, like all-purpose season or whatever kind of season you use at home. Uh, I was gonna put some corn in it, but I'm just using what I have in my kitchen to make this soup. As I said, at the moment, I'm cleaning down my kitchen and getting my kitchen cleaning up and nice for the Christmas. So everything is all over the whole place at the moment. So I'm just using what I have. So as I can see, that's the soup right there. We got the main ingredients in it. We got rosemary. We got some fresh thyme. We got some pimento seed. And also we got some bay leaf. And we got some cloves in it. Those are very important in the soup. We got cumin seed. And so this is after this. This is how the dough look when you roll them up like this. All right, yeah. So you wanna do? You wanna just give that a mix now? All right. I'm just making a little bit of soup, not much. So you guys can see. Um, chocho. That's what we used last night. All right. We're gonna put some chocho. All right, this is some chocho in the pot. These are some potato straight in the pot. Oh yeah, that looking good. Right here, this is some cocoa. I'm gonna put that in another pot. You know what is cocoa, guys? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, that looking good. Look at that. Excellent. Sweet potato, straight another pot. All right. So these are just the pumpkin. They will just mush out in it nicely. Spring onion, we're gonna put this inside of it. All right, here it is. Spring onion, nice. Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper. I gotta just put a little bit more liquid. Caribbean flavor pumpkin soup mix. Chuck it straight inside of the pot. Get some flavor. All 
All right. Yeah, man, look at that. Excellent. So that look nice? Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Um, black pepper. Uh, what else we need? Things looking good. Yeah. Things looking good so far. gonna put one vegetable stock in the pot beautiful see that that looking good guys all right Make that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that looks excellent. That is amazing. The flavor and the texture. Yeah. Let's taste it and see what all, all the flavor is there. Oh my God. Mm. That, is, that, that is perfect. The flavor. Ah, That's what I'm talking about, man. You can't search for flavor, guys. You have to make the foundation. You know what I mean? And you keep... You keep adding, you know. Real authentic soup. The flavor, the texture is amazing. All right, you can search for flavor. You have to make the flavor, guys. Start the foundation, and you keep adding until you reach the mountain. Right, guys? Yeah. So, all of my subscribers and my audience, what's going on now? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, man. That's where we are at the moment. It's all about love and prosperity and blessing and giving God thanks and praise and honor God and, you know what I mean? Holy pasok my going on right now in the kitchen. And thank God for providing for everyone who are alive and well, who are not sick. You know what I mean? Well, if you know, if you know you are happy at the moment and... You just keep smiling at yourself and as I give God thanks. Leave your comments in the description box, in the chat, guys, and say, you know what, I'm being blessed. If you know you're being blessed, you wake up this morning, you know what I mean? Despite when you look outside, it was snowing, but at the end of the day, you're being blessed. Yeah, you're being blessed. Jano star, the struggling is real. So, right here, if you're being blessed, you just give thanks. There's nothing to, to hang over. Look at that, guys. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can cook rice and peas in them kind of weather, yeah, guys. You have to draw for something like this. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, man, you can You cannot have, um, what do you call it? Rice and peas are, are, are oxygen right now. Yeah, you have to draw for some soup. Recipe, please. Oh, yeah, definitely. I will give you the recipe. The main ingredients in it is um, 
the spice is what I use. Because the spices, guys, what makes the difference. Let's turn on the cooker a little bit. All right, yeah. Jackie, what are you talking about? Uh, hold on the first. Today is Friday now, Jackie. No, um, you have to cook vegetable soup or something with vegetable. Now you're gonna cook the dog food first. Today's 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 Monday. Oh yeah, see that? Oh, hopefully. Oh my days, man! Look at look look at that, guys! Look 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 at that! Look at that flavor! Look at the texture! Everything, you know what I mean? Is amazing, honestly. That that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. You see this right here? Is what I'm talking about. You can put celery inside of it. A lot more things I can put inside of it, guys. But for now, we just keep it simple and delicious. Oh, yeah. Chrissy Williams, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love 100%. Yeah, um, manifest. Thank you so much, Craig. What's going on, Craig? Craig is in the building, man. Big up yourself every time, Craig. <laughs> Craig, you cracks me up. Anyway, Craig, that <laughs> you see your car not being blessed. All right, sorry for you that one, door, Craig, man. Oh, bless you, door. Anyway, don't worry, sir. If your car gonna get bit, don't worry, it's gonna get fixed. Vanessa. <laughs> it's Monday, man. Monday, sorry. It is Monday. Meat free Monday, me. Mean. No, it's Monday. Vanessa is in the building. Vegetable soup. Definitely. Red, red, red Halia. Thank you so much. And common human. This is my Dutchy pot. You know, the original Dutchy pot from Jamaica. You know, you, what, this, these are the kind of Dutchy pot. Look at that. That is a proper Dutchy pot from in, in the 60s. All right, that's what like your great grandparents use. Yeah, that's what I'm using at the moment. The best Dutchy pot in the world. Manifest. Thank, thank you so much, Manifest. Craig. <laughs> Craig is in the building, man. Devil's word. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, big up my TikTok. Dana, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Shara Bentley, what's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Yeah, soup must look good, man. All right. Yeah, we got lots of different kind of things in it. So these are the pumpkin. You know what I mean? You can all just mash out the pumpkin and get a lot more flavor from that beautiful pumpkin, man. Permit to seed, we got some 
rosemary, everything we have in the pot, guys. Yeah. Wow, look at that. See that, guys? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ve simple little vegetable soup at home. See? Yeah, man. Simple little vegetable soup. Nothing too extra. Yeah. Look at that. Not too runny, not too thick, all right? Mm. That is perfect. That is perfect, guys. Definitely. No meat. That's good, man. Wow. It's only thing I don't have in it is some yam. But next time. Yeah. We need some yam. Yes, my people. Yes, yes, sir. Christy Williams, what are you cooking for Christmas? Jerk chicken? Um, or rice and peas? Lisa, what are you cooking for Christmas? Meat free Monday, yeah. Chrissy. No. Nah, boss, the pepper night is gonna be spicy, but you can t you can smell the flavor inside. Jackie, well, you know what I mean. We have to look after the ladies, them, cause a lot of a lot of the ladies them now get the, the you know you have to make sure the ladies them are right. It is winter, any? They're cold, so you have to make soup for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the husband come over, just tell him, say, Chef Ricardo say, you must make your soup. Keep you warm, because you're going to have to go to work in this cold weather. Yeah, look at that, guys. Wow. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Soup is amazing. Yeah. DD, big up yourself, Chef Ricardo. When the husband come from work, tell him that Chef Ricardo says, you make your soup. No pasta, no rice, and no chicken. Chrissy Williams, big thank you so much. Dree Dree. Oh, pasta. Oh, which part you are is it very hot? Because which part me there right now is very cool, like oh, someone opened the freezer. Can't hook the freezer doesn't close. Craig. Yes, we do have curry sometime, man. Curry is nice. Jockey. Yes, cornbread is nice. I have it before. It's really nice. Mary, soup for life in a healthy in a bowl. Thank you so much. Simit, I chef recorder, big up yourself too. Looking very good. Thank you so much. Corn bread. Yes, man. Corn bread, nice, man. Ah, I love corn bread. Kayaka. Yeah, definitely. Squeeze a little bit of pepper in it. Alright. See the pepper, yeah? Oh my gosh. That's the Scotch bonnet pepper, man. Right here. You know? That's my Scotch bonnet pepper. Right there, guys. Can't go wrong with the Scotch bonnet pepper, man. Yeah. Scotch bonnet pepper and I soup. 
can't go wrong. Now, this is the kind of soup you want to have right now. You know, this is a kind of way that you have a car. This is a kind of way that you have a jar for some red pea soup or some chicken soup or vegetable soup. I, sh I, I might make some red pea soup in it. one day in the week. Yeah, yeah I'm going to make some red pea soup on Friday. Friday is red pea soup day. Red pea soup with a piece of a beef in it. Or you can use chicken. Yeah. Red pea soup coming up soon. Oh, this is some vegetable soup. Very simple look of vegetable soup from Chef Ricardo this evening, man. Slimer. Roll, hell yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for go back to work and get some rest and you know, yeah, big up yourself every time. Comment Samuel. Man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you can have some. Manifest. Here's this in. Red pea soup. Yeah, I want to do some red pea soup on this Friday coming. Hopefully. Yeah, man. Some, some red pea soup with some beef. Nice piece of beef in it and cook it down nicely. Alright. Yeah. That looking excellent, Chef Ricardo, man. Let's turn off the cooker. We're now cook iron. We are cooking a little bit of soup. Red pea soup this Friday. What do you think about that one? Lisa. Uh, you're moving away from traditional food. Let's go healthy. That's the best thing to do. If you're moving away from traditional food, try and eat healthy. And when you eat healthy, that's one of the best things you could ever do in your life. All right, yeah. Heat healthy, you can't go wrong. No beef, red pea soup. All right, Christy Williams, no beef. All right, <laughs> Jackie, you always run left chef Ricardo cooking enough. All right, Jackie, have a beautiful evening. Look after yourself. Craig, go. <laughs> Craig, go on. Come on. No chicken noodle soup right now, Craig. Go. <laughs> Craig, go cracks me up. <laughs> Craig, go. No, no chicken noodle soup. We're going we're gonna to have to make some red pea soup. Slime. Wow, that is a powerful message, man. Wow, I have to highlight that one for you. Red pea soup is good for on, on for Friday. All right, Chris, um, Gregor, slime. Your nagin cough is gone. Wow, everything is gone. Let's keep watching Chef Ricardo cooking show. Keep watching, keep watching, and you know what I mean. You will learn a lot more. Because I got new recipe coming out. Guys, this is awesome. Wow. Look at that, man. That is beautiful. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come right here. All right. So... Yeah, the soup is finished, guys. And I'm going to say something to you. It is beautiful. All right? The soup is beautiful. That is finished. Looking good. I 
All right, now. See this right here? This is what we're talking about. The real authentic Jamaican soup. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mm. Now, look at that soup, guys. What do you think? It's winter. The time is cool. Wow. That is amazing. The flavor and the texture is beautiful. Yeah, 100%. So, thank you so much for watching. And we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas for you guys, all right? Beautiful soup recipe for you guys to have night afternoon. Trust me. You know, with a nice slice of scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, that is beautiful, nice. Lovely. All right. Look at that. Yeah. This is our fresh time on top of it all right guys look at that beautiful that is beautiful guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned in we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from chef ricardo to you and today is what i keep saying friday today's monday manifest thank you so much today's monday man meat free monday Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. I need soup now. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to have to make some soup. Soup right now is the best time to drink soup and it's in this kind of weather. Right outside is a little bit icy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I got some avocado. Avocado can go on top of it. Yeah, very nice idea that one, Chrissy Williams. Papelas leave it as leave it as leave it as style. Ah, oh, that's what I'm calling it, right? One of my members on my YouTube channel also. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share some love, man. You know, I mean, supporting Chef Ricardo for a very long time. Yes, thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening. Stay blessed. And yeah, we got more recipe coming out for you guys. All right. Yeah. Have a wonderful evening, guys, and I will be seeing you guys with more recipes. All right? Bye-bye for now.